it's Blair and today I am doing another book review. I am reviewing Divergent by Veronica Roth. It is storming out. It's finally spring and it's raining. I just went a little bit crazy and bought a bunch of Laffy Taffy for no reason at all. Now I have to wait to eat this. All right, synopsis of the story. Divergent is about a girl, okay. I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm guessing most of you have seen the movie Divergent with Shailene Woodley and Theo James. And the movie was really good. I actually watched the movie first and then I went and saw Insurgent and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna read Divergent. Divergent is about a girl named Beatrice Pryor and she has um, three family members, her mom, her dad, and Caleb, her brother. And they live in abnegation. There's five factions in Chicago. There was a huge war and they have this huge fence around their city to shield them from whatever is outside the wall. And so they don't even know what the war is from, what caused it, what is up. All they know is there's five factions and this is how it has been for a hundred years. The five factions are Abnegation, Erudite, Dauntless, Candor, and Amity. I nailed that! Boom! And she's from Abnegation. It's a fabulous story about how she finds out that she's divergent. Well. She always felt like she never really fit in in abnegation, and so she decides to go with her gut, um, even though she was told she could join anything because she's divergent. So she joined Dauntless because I think a part of her knew. Yeah, I am Dauntless and I'm amazing. This really is a come-of-age story because it's about finding who you are and being brave, and it's, it's really good. I give Divergent four out of five stars. I've been giving a lot of books lately 5 out of 5 stars, and out of the books I've been reading, I'd say this is a 4 out of 5. I haven't really thought about it that much because I was so like, okay, that's in the movie, that's not in the movie. I like the story, I think it's cool. I just, dystopian, I, I thought I was ready because the movie was so good, and I was, and I really enjoyed the book, and I'm scared of dystopian, so it kind of got me out of my little love shell and broke out into the dystopian novel hood world. I'm really grateful for that, but I still rank love stories above dystopian right now, so I give it four out of five. The writing is really good, and I really, really like her adventure into becoming who she truly is. So it is an amazing book. I really recommend it, and um, definitely go read it if you like dystopian. If you saw the movie, I would read it because you can really learn what was taken out and what was actually put in and what's been changed. So yeah, go read it. Now for the spoilers. Okay. So, spoiler section. Um, I'm just going on the fly here. I didn't write any notes. I'm just gonna say that it was a really good book, but I felt like the climax up to the ending where they're on the train was kinda eh. eh. So it, it really, it didn't really get me into it, and I probably ruined it for myself by watching the movie first, but I really think that watching the movie first helped me, because I don't have that whole, it's not as good as the book! They're pretty much a tie for me. There's a lot of really good scenes that are in the book that I wish were in the movie, so that kind of makes me sad, but I don't I don't know who'd win, the book or the movie. I think they did a really good job on the movie. Shailene Woodley's amazing. I do feel like Triss is a little more scared than they portray her in the movie. They, they make her way less scared from the outside, and that's probably because we're not in her head in the movie. Shailene Woodley, like, she did an amazing job, and that's really hard to do to, like, be the character that everybody reads and like they're like knowing every thought that they have but you have to make it look like that you have to make it look like you're scared I really really liked the love story Tobias and Tris why am I having such a hard time with her name very excited to read the story from his point of view when Veronica Moth made the moth when Veronica Moth Veronica Roth writes the story from his point of view. I really want to read those because he's been through a lot, but you don't know exactly what, and that makes him mysterious. Okay, favorite quote is from page 338, and um, I pretty much like every single love moment that they have together where they're either kissing or talking about love or, you know, they're in love. So, any of them, but this one's kind of neat. 
For a second, his dark eyes are on mine, and he's quiet. Then he touches my face and leans in close, brushing my lips with his. The river roars, and I feel its spray on my ankles. He grins and presses his mouth to mine. I tense up at first, unsure of myself. So when he pulls away, I'm sure I did something wrong or badly. But he takes my face in his hands, his fingers strong against my skin, and kisses me again. Firmer this time, more certain. I wrap an arm around him, sliding my hand up his neck and into his short hair. For a few minutes, we kiss deep in the chasm with the roar of water all around us. And when we rise hand in hand, I realize that if we had both chosen differently, we might have end up, ended up doing the same thing in a safer place, in gray clothes instead of black ones. What? Huh? He's an abnegation. We don't know if he's divergent, but we know he is because of the movie and because of the, all the hints, but you don't know and then do. <laughs> Wonderful book. I loved the characters and I liked the place. Dystopian isn't really my thing, but I'm glad that I, you know, reached out and tried some new things. So I definitely recommend it. The movie and book are fabulous. All right, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Smile, the worst is yet to come. We'll be lucky if we ever see the sun